Metro's new Expo line has been operating for nearly a week. We recently visited some of the station's busiest stops to ask commuters, the curious, and those who helped make it possible how this light rail will help transform transit in Los Angeles. This weekend we're opening up the uh, Expo line. It's the latest uh, light rail line for the city of Los Angeles. Uh, it's 8.6 miles and it gets you all the way to Culver City from downtown. It's going to be a very heavily used line. Uh, we haven't had uh, transit service on the west side uh, for 60 years. So this is a long time coming and uh, it's really going to provide a transit solution for people that are coming from the west side into downtown on a daily basis. Reception was pretty good. We had a lot of people. There were some lines forming at Jefferson and La Cienega and at 7th and Metro, but that, one, that one's really busy. We've got four lines running into that station now. So there's a lot of people transferring, going in and out, which is really good. And most people came out, they were very curious, they wanted to try riding the new line, or they want to test it out to see how they can take it for their commute to work. The crowd's been good. It's been a little light in the morning, which we expected, but the trains were packed yesterday afternoon and evening. So I, a lot of people came out and rode the trains and had the free ride on the uh, expo this weekend. Today we're continuing the free rides until seven tonight. And uh, I would say, the trains were full to capacity yesterday afternoon and evening. I think it's really exciting to see alternatives to car transport here in Los Angeles. Um, it's exciting to see different rapid transit uh, opportunities. Um, well, we haven't had our first ride yet. This is going to be our first ride, so hopefully it's exciting. I just want to see where it's going to go and how fast it's going to go. If it's clean and if it goes fast and if I can pick it up close by my house, I would definitely ride it. The crowds have been great. Everybody's uh, in a festive mood, which is always nice. I had one couple that was on the train with me last night. And they live off of uh, La Cienega, and he works in uh, downtown LA, and they were timing to see how long it would take him to get to work versus uh, driving there. So he was very pleased with the, the amount that it would cut off of his commute. We're a very diverse community. We have people from all over the city of Los Angeles, and we like the idea that this station will connect us in a very easy way with all the neighborhoods to the west and downtown and SC. And so, but we wanted to uh, to bless something is to offer God Thanksgiving for it. And so, we see this as a gift, part of God's many gifts to the city. And so, we wanted to bless it and ask God's protection on the people who will come here and travel through it and on the city. It's finally going to connect the city in a way that people don't have to rely on a car. And we've talked for the last 20, 30 years about you know wanting to be an international city and wanting to be a city that has clean air and a city with less, uh, less traffic congestion and greater opportunity and accessibility. This is the way to do it and we're here to bear witness to that. I'm here today to celebrate the first weekend of operation of the Expo Line. It's been several years in coming. It's going to provide public transportation for our community, and particularly as the network is developed along Crenshaw and the uh, train to the sea and a variety of things, it gives us an opportunity to have the most transit-dependent part of the city connected to the rail line. I'm Tanya Flowers for the Los Angeles Wave. Train 11, track 4, proceeding south from 23rd Street Station.